Why, hello! Good afternoon, everyone! Surprise! I know, I, I don't often pop on on a Saturday, but I was doing something kind of fun this afternoon and um, thought I should pop on and share. I'm uh, fresh from the pool today and doing a little bit of um, oily maintenance and thought I would share a fun Saturday tip with you guys. Hi, Stephanie Butcher here, Young Living Essential Oil leader and coach. And I am sharing with you today some creative ways to reuse your oil bottles. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, I shared some creative ways on how to clean them out and reuse the oil inside. But um, after washing them out and recycling them, them, we didn't talk too much about what you could do with them. So I reuse my oil bottles all the time. This is my um, stash I'm working with today. I don't know if I'll use all of the creative ways uh, that I'm going to talk about here on all of these, but um, I have some to work with. So I have four really fun ways on um, that you can reuse your oil bottles. And I'll be quick today, but I just wanted to share something fun with you this Saturday. So um, I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to turn this around for you and show you what we're going to be doing today. So here are four old oil bottles that I have already got a little crafty with. So I will post links to all these things that I talk about that um, are add-ons that you can add on to your oil bottles. Um, so look for those in the comments. But uh, this is an old cleaned out 15 mil bottle. And you can actually buy these um, spray toppers just as they are on Amazon. And they fit a 15 mil bottle. And again, I'll post the link for these. Um, but you can buy these 15 mil spray toppers on Amazon just by themselves. And they fit amazing on the Young Living um, bottles, the 5 mils even, because our bottle tops are the same size. Um, and you can make these little fun spray bottles. These are great to gift um, some immune booster or cleaning spray or fun samples of a fresh linen spray that you love. Um, a great way to make those samples and portion them out for your friends and family or teacher gifts. Um, you could put a sample of Thieves Household Cleaner in here with some water and make, make a sample of like a Thieves Spray for a start of school year teacher gift. Um, this is also a great way to ration out your supplies and make some of your own things. Another thing I really like to do in this is um, put one of these in the laundry room and just do water and a few drops of lemon and it's like a stain spray for your clothes. So there's so many different things that you can do with this. And again, I'm gonna post the links for you. Um, you can also, wink, wink, um, sample out some of the new Savvy Mineral Makeup Misting Spray to any of your friends and family who are curious about the new mineral makeup. You can portion out some of the misting spray in this. I know. So really, really versatile that you can do um, with these spray tops. I love it. The other thing you can do is, uh, this is a cleaned out five mil bottle. And if you have a diffuser blend that you absolutely love and you find that you're making all the time, you can make batch bottles of your favorite diffuser blend. So you don't have to keep measuring out three drops, two drops, four drops, one drop. Uh, you can just increase, do however many of those recipes you want in here. Uh, a five mil will hold anywhere from 85 to 100 drops. So if you have a diffusing recipe that takes eight drops, I mean, you can make 
12 recipes of that if you wanted. And then you have a batch recipe of your favorite diffusing recipe. Um, lavender, lemon, and peppermint is great for that. Or again, a really great way to maybe lend your diffuser out to a friend who's curious about what you do and um, make a batch blend of your favorite combination to help them get started and give them this bottle as a gift as a thank you for trying out um, Young Living Essential Oils. So that's this is an immunity booster blend I have in here. I think it's oregano, thieves, and lemon. And um, so that's just one of my batch bottles that I have and you can label it however you want. Hi buddy. Very nice. Thanks guys. <laughs> um, this is another five mil bottle and a five mil holds perfectly a cap full of Thieves Household Cleaner. So I just made these little um, Thieves Household Cleaner labels and you always put the sample first before you put the label on because then the label will run if you drip even a little bit. Um, but this is a great way again to gift a sample to a coworker or um, a teacher or a someone close to you, a really close family member or friend or uh, even someone that you see all the time at the grocery store who always or the post office who always sees you doing what you're doing you can bring them a sample uh, in something like this and it's a little more professional and a little bit more fun um, you do want to make sure though that if you even if you don't uh, put oils in here you keep the re bottle reducer on there because that's what these lids are for and if you put the lid on without the reducer it will leak everywhere and then just let them know that when they're ready to use their sample just to take the cap and uh, pry that reducer off and um, you're good to go. So my last tip for you is you can make uh, roller bottles with your empty bottles. So this is an empty bottle of Digize that I, um, I, when I got my replacement, I put 15 drops in here and filled the rest with the carrier oil. And Young Living sells, again, I will attach uh, the link for you, but Young Living sells these roller filaments uh, with their own lid that you can attach to any 5 or 15 mil bottle and convert any old oil bottle into a roller bottle. So this is my son, my five-year-old, my son's roller bottle of Digize for him. And again, it's just 15 drops, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but he's younger. And the rest with carrier oil, and then it's good to go. You get <laughs> a roller filament like this and a cap, and you can buy these again directly from Young Living. And... Um, that's a fun way to use some of your bottles. So I have some lavender vitality here, which I think I might um, turn into, hang on a second, baby. Um, a lavender linen spray with a spray top for somebody. Um, yeah, yeah, honey. Okay, hang on one second. And then I've got some tangerine here. Um, and if you find a recipe, for that includes the oil of the bottle you're using you don't even have to clean it out so here's a tangerine uh, maybe I'll find a diffuser blend that has tangerine in it and make a bulk blend for somebody and I can use that bottle for that oh what else do I have in here lots of lemon I go through a lot of lemon at my house <laughs> Uh, here's a bottle of frankincense. Uh, I could do like a muscle roller for growing pains or sore muscles with some frankincense and pan away and uh, attach a roller filament to that and um, take, put that in my son's backpack or diaper bag uh, or give that to a friend who has a young one who's going through some growing pains. And um, there we go. And then you can just Set it, you can keep it all red, but just uh, maybe take a label and cover up the frankincense and put um, like muscle roller or something like that. So there are some ideas for you, and they turn out pretty cute, depending on how you decorate them or label them, but it turns out really well. And then you reuse some bottles, um, and then it gives people something a little bit more personal. Um, I hope you guys had fun learning some new things. I will let you go and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Okay, bye.